Hello and welcome to the Great Journey Podcast. I'm Caitlin Clary here with Sensei Marty Callahan. And today we are talking about kids teaching kids. Not everybody sees the benefit of that, but I think that you're going to be sharing with us lots of wisdom in that area, right? Uh, well, uh, yes. Or hopefully hope. so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So um, this is something. So I am a teacher's day because when I was a kid, 15 years old, mm -hmm. Um, one of my, my, well, my chemistry and teacher at the time asked me to help another child in the class mm -hmm. uh, with the lessons. And I did that for a couple of months, but then it was uh, because I was still a student in the class, I had to take the test as well. Right. So a test came along and um, I distinctly remember reading the first question of that test and having the reaction of, well, I know that. It was okay. so obvious to me the answer to that question. Right. And then I read the second question and had the same reaction. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a 20 question um, uh, test. Mm -hmm. And I knew every single uh, I knew every single the question answers. and the answer to every single one, okay. and it got 100%. Okay. And that had never happened be before. Right. I was uh, a decent student. I wasn't a great student. Mm -hmm. um, I got B minuses, some B pluses, maybe an A minus now and then. Mm -hmm. But um, what I learned from that was that, uh, to me, was that teaching maybe in many ways was better for the teacher mm -hmm. than it was for the student. Right. I don't know how well he did. Yeah. I can't remember any of that. Right. But um, but I do remember the impact it on, had on me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that was a big big part of why I'm a, uh, I'm a teacher here today. Interesting. And so as a parent, I've always thought that the kids are teaching me more about myself than yes. I may necessarily be teaching them. So yes. it kind of falls in line with that. Same yes. Yes. Perspective. Yeah. When you're out on the floor and you're teaching a class, the, uh, the students are actually teaching you. Right. Like, like you just said. Yeah. Um, and then um, uh, another component of that is that the young student will want to hear things and might be more interested in listening mm -hmm. to a child just a few years older than they are. Right. They might listen to that child better than they're going to listen to themselves. Yes. Because they can relate to that child more mm -hmm. and, um, and they can look up to them more mm -hmm. easily than they can look, look up to some adult who's yeah. many years older than they, than Absolutely. they are. Absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely the trend is that kids are always looking just a few years ahead of themselves and they yes. typically hold these kids yep. on a higher pedestal. Yep. So you saying something or a yep. parent saying something is different and will come across differently than someone that they can relate to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Absolutely. So it also breaks up the monotony, right? So you yes. do, we, do we teach in every class, but you have students impart the teaching that they've learned from you and have their own opportunity to teach the younger students. Yeah. Right. So you're teaching the older or certain higher ranked kids and those yep. higher ranked kids are in, have I'm their own younger. team of yep. kids. Right. Okay. Yep. So how yep. does that work? Well, um, we, well, what I do is I pick the, I, I, I've either got some assistants in the class that are going to be there mm -hmm. and they're going to, I'm going to put them in charge of certain kids mm -hmm. or I pick the kids that are the most, the oldest and the most advanced in the class. Mm -hmm. And I put them in charge of teaching other kids. And yeah. then I start by teaching a lesson to everyone, but I'm focusing mostly on the older kids, what we refer to as the leaders. Right. And then it's the leader's responsibility to bring their team together mm -hmm. and have their team um, function and and learn the material. Right, and that's just uh, the essence of the leadership training in our school Yes, is wrapped up all yeah. in that. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's also preparing the younger child for their future role, right? The goal mm -hmm. is for them to grow into that future role to in yep. turn become a leader and teacher to younger students than yeah. them. Yep. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's a lot easier for that younger child to see themselves becoming that Yeah. Um, when when they're experiencing it themselves firsthand. Right. Okay, fantastic. So Good. if you didn't know why, if you come in here and you don't know why students are teaching students on the floor, now you know. 
it all has a great purpose behind it. And my three teenagers are all um, in the instructor training program yeah. and they've grown yeah. significantly yeah. in their last year and a half or so of doing it. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, even my son, who's almost 17 in general was not when we started, not all about being around the little guys, but even just watching from outside at this point, I've seen him grow a lot in his maturity factor and handling that. Yeah. Um, and then my middle daughter, who's the more reserved one is kind of the one who ends up being more in charge than the other three, because yep. she kind of carries herself in a different way. Yeah. And then yep. my youngest, who's still 13, um, really gets a kick out of teaching the little kids. Yeah. Um, because it's pretty nice as the baby of the family to have someone look up to you finally. Right. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but that brings up another point there yes. is, um, what, you know, your son, uh, yeah. Chase, what he's doing here is that, um, uh, as kids grow up, mm -hmm. you know, they don't want to be seen as little kids anymore. They right. want to be seen as big kids. Right. So right. teenagers don't generally don't like to be associate themselves with yes. elementary school kids. Right. And so um, when you put them in a teaching role, mm -hmm. then they look at those elementary school kids in a completely different way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they're not, it, it's, um, it's like they're their younger brothers and sisters, but right. even more than that, because they're their student. Right. And even if they might only be their student for um, a couple of days or a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. they tar start to relate to them better. And mm -hmm. there's this bond that forms between them. Yeah. And ultimately, um, that's going to serve them well as they go grow up because yeah. they're going to have more compassion and a, a greater understanding. Of empathy. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. All yep. right. Great. Well, thank you so much for listening. And we'll talk to you next time on the Great Journey Podcast. Have a great day.